Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back inside uh, my lumber, doing a little bit of how to build a game, my game, let's make a game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I noticed that my character is still R8, uh, R8. So I need to build an actual character that I can uh, I can use for like an NPC. So let's head over here to the category. Uh, let's, let's, uh, avatar, avatar. I'm going to change up my avatar. Um, hold on, I want Code's t-shirt, that one. Okay, so I did buy the pink jacket. So to the person that said, "Hey, support me, please," I want to, I want to wear. It. You're welcome. Um, let's see. Let's just go like this. Let's uh, let's grab and jingle. Uh, yes, let's do a cube sometime. Let's do this. I need to go to. Um, costumes, preset costumes, mm, star, mist, fairy, chromo blitz, let's see, what's a good R15, let's do this, and then let's go to, um, let's go to clothing, and hair, can we change this up, let's see here, no that doesn't work, that doesn't work really. It kind of works. Purple party hair. <laughs> Some pizza hair. No. That doesn't work at all. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Nope. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm a European rock star. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Nope. No, that shows like brains and stuff. We don't want that. Oh my gosh, that is huge. That is not what we want. That doesn't work either. Lynn's hair. Ooh, Lynn's hair. No. All right, maybe that was a bad idea for the preset costumes. Let's do. Um, it's gotta be an R15, right? All these zigzag. No, I don't like that. Uh, what does he look like as an R6? <laughs> Wait, what do, what do these all look like? Hold on, what's Seth look like? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. That's awesome. Hold on, what does he look like? Okay, he doesn't look too bad, but oh my gosh. Okay, um, here let's let's do that. Let's set our mode to that, and then let's jump into the game. I'm gonna take a copy of it. Use that as like the uh, the person. Yeah, she could be a shopkeeper, right? Not sure about the gloves though. All right, let's uh, let's go grab her. Code primate, take a copy. I'm gonna hit stop, and then we are going to uh, click on this, the wood store, and we're going to do paste into. There we go. Of course, she's like way over there. So now we got to move her over here, and it's not gonna be code primate. We are going to set her to mo. Come here, mo. Yoink. Alright, so this Mo has got to go. Sorry, Mo. See ya. Alright, and we'll change this to M O H T because it's Tom backwards. See? Oh my goodness, it is. It is hot inside the studio at the moment. All right, let's go 45 degrees. Uh, we actually, we'll switch over to a model and uh, uncheck the restraint. That way we can kind of adjust here and then we'll move. Move her right in there like that. Now, why is it showing all the attachment points through the, oh, draw on top, that's why. There we go. Uh, let's not draw the restraints. There we go. So she, she can be our cashier. Not sure about that face. That does not look like a friendly face. That looks more like, are you gonna buy something? 
buy something now. Do it. <clears throat> so, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and we are going to go to her um, humanoid root part and we want to anchor that so it does not move. Anchored. There we go. So, let's compare sizes. What is not that? <laughs> Stop. Okay, so I've got to go put back on my uh, R8 2019 as an R15. And then that should work. So now I hit play. Wait, did it? Yeah, I've got my kitty cat on there. There's my cat. So now I'm a tall, lanky fellow. Do, 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 Okay, so in comparison, yeah, that looks good. That's cool. I like it. So, welcome Mo, your new shopkeeper. Yay. So now I gotta actually, like, start in on some dialogues and stuff, which I'm gonna have to figure out the shopkeeper script. How do I want this to work? So, hmm. Do, do, do. Shopkeeper, shopkeeper. Should I just, because I could just make a generic script for her, so she's the one that interacts with it. Uh, you know what, let's build. Let's build instead, because um, I just realized I don't have a, um, a thing for her. Hold on, let's scale that down just a little bit more, like that. Uh, she needs a cash register of some kind. So, let's go ahead and uh, I will do insert a part, just a block like that, maybe. And then uh, let's squish that down just a little bit. We'll pull it right over here, out of the way. And then, what, what do we call this? This is a, uh... wait, come up here. You're supposed to be inside the shop. Come on, scroll up, please. Why are you not scrolling up? Ah, cut. And then wood store, paste into. And F2. Uh, register. And I could actually stick the script inside the register to control all the rest of the stuff, see? See? Brilliant! Uh, no, we want it inside the desk. Uh, let's blab it in there. There we go. Uh, make this a little bit taller, just like that. And we want this anchored. So let's go to anchors. Right there, anchor. All anchored down. Uh, and now I want to duplicate that part. But we're going to, oh, actually no, I don't want to duplicate that part. Uh, insert wedge part. Okay. And is this, is this on a 45 degree angle? I don't know. What's the rotation? Uh, change the orientation back to zero, zero, zero. There we go. And now I should be able to rotate. We're restrained to 45 degrees. Actually, leave, leave it alone. Leave it alone for right now. And then this, I want, what do I want? <clears throat> um, let's do this. Let's scale this down just a little bit. And let's scale it this way just a little bit. That doesn't look right, does it? It does not look right at all. Okay, rotate. Turn off the restraints. We're gonna rotate this way just a little bit. Right? Yes. Move, control L, so we're moving on global axis and not local axis. Like that. Actually, here, no, that horrible, horrible idea. Don't do that. Uh, duplicate this, move it up and out, just like that. Now we are going to rotate slightly down. Like that. Uh, that's going to be a negative. I'm going to duplicate that one. Rotate it back up like this. Move. Thank you so much for the subscribe. 
Lane Lane TV. Appreciate it. Alright. And if we have those just like that, I should be able to hold Alt Shift Click Click Union. Yay, cash register. Beautiful. And it's even got the like the little edge thing right there. Love it. That is beautiful. Of course, nowadays you don't use like cash register registers. You use uh, you use like little iPad kiosk, right? Maybe we should make an iPad kiosk instead. Think I think I should do that. I could model one. Maybe. You guys are more interested in the scripting part. I know, I know. But let's go ahead and leave that right there for now. Uh, we may upgrade it later. Sorry, Mo. Mm, okay, these are the only items that I have, and they're on the shelf, and the shelf does the reset -y thing. Uh, where is... Yeah, that's the resetter. I wanted to set this up a little bit, because 10 seconds just doesn't seem long enough. We're going we're going to switch that to 30 seconds. Gives you more time to mess things up. So, that's fun. Um, okay, got the menu items. Tool manager, C-frame script, trees... Water damage is good. Water floaties are good. Uh, tree model script. That's is this. This is the one. This I'm going to have to change. But uh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to script today. I want to build, and I'll show you, Cam, what I've been building over here in the corner. So I know how, like, um, in lumber, how you have the drop off right there next to the thing, right? I'm gonna make like a little drop off over here, but it doesn't actually give you the money over here. What it does is like you put the, the wood in, it collects it in a little bin, right? And then there's gonna be like a little transport that brings it over here do, 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 to the mill. And then once it's in the mill, then you, you get the, the thing for it. And that looks horrible. Why does that look so bad? Maybe, is it because I didn't, probably didn't anchor it, but that's fine. Anyhow, inside here, this is going to be where the actual drop-offs are. And I'm gonna have like two or three of them right here where you can drive your truck in, drop it off in the back, and then it gives you the money, right? But then there's gonna be like a little waterfall over here that's like churning a, a thing, and then like, I don't know, um, there, it, there's gonna be more because it's not just gonna be, um, wood that can be processed. It's also going to be, oh, what's it? It's going to be um, minerals, um, irons, stuff like that. So uh, I need to make, okay. I should probably do like a thing. Let's do, let's do a thing. I'm going to duplicate this wall. Wait, is that a union? Control Z. This right here, control duplicate. I'm going to move this out to scale this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. Control Z, Control Z. This right here. Oh, that is a union. Oh, dang it. Okay, this one here. That's good. We'll uh, duplicate this, move it out just a little bit. And this is going to be like the framing. Drink. Move that in. Oh, 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 Control Z. This one here. Thank you. <clears throat> this, I'm going to change the texture and the color. No, I don't like that. No, I kind of like that. Let's make it... Should it still be wood planks? No. Let's make it wood. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I, I think I know what's wrong with that. Oh, Control Z. Shift, no, Control Z, hold Alt. Alt. No, Control Z, Control Z again. How do I move Control Shift? There's supposed to be a way that you can move both sides at one time. Control Z, Control, there we go. So let's move that down like that. I'm gonna take a rotate right like that. Oh gosh, control Z, 45 degrees and movements. 
There we go. Now, scale, shift, nope, control. That way the wood grain's going up and down. I like it. I like it a lot. Good. Let's change its color. Maybe something like a dark red. Well, I got these bricks here. I'm not really sure I should keep the brick. The brick seems too patterned. All right, duplicate that. Um, oops, nope, control Z. We're gonna call this uh, ball frame. So now I should be able to just move, control, duplicate. And this is all going to be the, the wall framing. Oh, uh, scale a little bit this way. There we go. Now I can move. Right. No gaps, please. There we go. And then control D. Like that. Control D. Right in the middle, in the back. Control D side like that. Control D. And right over there like that. That looks good. Amazing. Okay. Now let's make a red roof. I kind of want that to be the same kind of material. And uh, scale down like that. Now can I just, I could just do the entire thing like that, but uh, hmm. let's get a reference. Um, let's go over to Google and do uh, sawmill factory. And let's look at images, sawmill building, buildings. Let's see the buildings. That looks kind of cool. I like I like the green roof style. That looks pretty good too. Of course, that's all like. Mm. Hmm, that looks cool. Science Center gift shop. Ooh, I like that woodwork. That is that is pretty. See that how it's got the like real dark red wood and then it's got the really light. I like that. Let's let's shoot for that. Can I do that? So we'll make the front kind of like this, where uh, these are actually going to extend up. So let's go. Oh, this is a union, isn't it? Dang it. Um, let's grab, let's grab this back wall here and I'm going to do this control duplicate and we're just going to bring this up right here. So it's even and then to the sides like that. Now, can I scale this up? Yeah, I can scale that. That's good. A little bit more like that. Now I want to duplicate and we're going to move this right over here like that. Make sure it's even Steven. It's not even. It's off slightly. You can see an edge. Oh man. Okay. Uh, turn off the move constraint. I'm going to go right to the edge. Actually, I don't need to. Uh, I can select this one down here, which is the union. Uh, that is the Z axis. Yep, so let's go to position right there. I can select this one. Oh, come on, that one again. And V. All right, that did not work. Come here, you. 461. 
four, six, one. There we go. So that should be exactly even. Exactly Steven. <clears throat> so now, I liked the way uh, it had like the red roofing like that. So we want this, the same kind of thing, only that direction. Because what I want to do is I want to have this kind of slant up like this, and then this over here, it kind of peaks. Or, or I could have like this slant down, and then this is just a really tall roof. I like that. That's a that's a great idea. Let's do that. So, let's go ahead and call this um, roof frame. And I'm going to scale that right across like that. Good. Now it's not going to matter what it's named here in a second because I'm going to invert this. Uh, does it extend past the wall? It does. I'm going to go this way with it. Okay. Now, angle it. I'm going to go, oh, uh, turn off the rotate. Right there. Move. Move this up slightly like that. Scale it a little bit more like that. And good. Okay, I want to duplicate this before I go turning it negative. Now if I hold shift and alt and shift and alt and then union. Whoa, what happened there? Control Z. Okay, what if I uh, hold this one first? There we go. Now union. Okay. That way the pattern doesn't change. Oh, oh, oh. We missed the back here. Control Z. Um, let's see. Let's get this one. Nope, that's the negative portion of the wall. So, I'm going to move down just slightly. I want it to be like right even with that wall. Good. Does it cover up the ends? It does. All right, so select the back wall first, hold Shift and Alt, select the next wall, select the negative part, union those all together. Oops, Control Z. Union, there we go. So now they're all angled. So this right here, this is actually just a, a thing. So let's see. Hmm. Hold on. I've been recording it for a while. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and change this one's color. We'll change it to that really light color um hold on i got i got a thing info window info and what color is this so if i go to mouse i can see the summary the color is a eight seven one three eight so uh color 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 brick color Oh, come on. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, right down here, hexadecimal, A87138. That is the color of... Oh, come on. Of that. Of course, it looks like it might be the, the darker of the colors. But that's okay. We can get that out of here. There. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and now let's change that material back over to the planks. Wood planks, nice. We can scale that back down. Ah, Control Z. Just this one, scale it down. And move straight down, just like that. Now do I want it to overhang a little bit? Probably. 
Let's move. No, I already was on move. Why is it not? Oh, control L. Sorry. <laughs> Want to make sure that it's local to it. There we go. We'll move it out just a little bit like that. And then scale back this direction. Up just a little bit. That way it's kind of hanging off the side. Good, good. Good. So good. Now, is that anchored? I don't know if that's anchored or not. Yeah, it's anchored. We're good. So, uh, hang off just a little bit more on the back. Good. Good. So, now for the inside. Come here, you. Now wait, this is this is roof frame, isn't it? I'm going to change that to just roof. I'm gonna grab this one here, duplicate, and we're gonna call it roof frame. Now let's move. Now let's see you move. Ah, not you. <laughs> Go in. Come in like that. All right, can I? Uh, can I? Like that. Scale. Come down like this. And come across like that. Maybe down just a little bit more. Good. Like. There's one, and there's two. Oh, I like that. That is, that is pretty. Okay, move, duplicate. Uh, hold on. I do want this to be on like ten studs apart. So, duplicate, duplicate. Can we get one more in there? No, we cannot. Duplicate, duplicate. One more? Nope can't get it in there so delete there we go oh that looks beautiful so pretty okay oh I forgot a door <laughs> uh, this does sit up just a little bit so I'm gonna have to make like a little walkway uh, maybe some stairs maybe just stairs just stairs yeah we'll just do some stairs uh, let's go ahead and toss a part in here. Uh, part. And this one can be negative. It's okay. Oh, come here. Uh, turn off the movements. Make sure it's even with the floor. Oh! Good. Just like that. Now we can do scaling. Scale, like that. Scale it through the wall, just so it shows on the other side. Scale it this direction and upward. Just like that. Move it right over here. And negate. Hold Alt and Shift. No, no, no. Alt. Like that. And Union. Punches a hole right through it. Perfect. Um, do, 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 Let's duplicate this. Come over like this. And we're just going to have simple stairs. Scale this down. Man, I keep grabbing onto everything else. You'll find whenever you're building things, um, the tools that they provide, like Roblox provides, they are good, but they are clunky. No offense, Roblox. Um, let's scale this down just a little bit. And then, is this anchored, I think? Yeah, this is anchored. Control B. And we're just gonna move this out. And down. Control D, out, and down. Okay, that shouldn't be too steep, right? We'll 
come up just a little bit. Just a little. That way we can get another one in here. And there are better ways to uh, build these. I wonder if that's going to be in the way. No, I'll put the, the things right here. So. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's that's good. That's good, right? I like that so far. Anyhow, this is going to be the mill. And it's going to be the place where you come to sell your wood. And it's going to have purchasable upgrades. So, like, you can purchase a, a card that increases the amount that you get. Or a frequent flyers something. I don't know. I've got so many ideas. Just no time to do these things. And it's... It's hard. This is this is hard stuff. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game, um, My Lumber, with me, Heath Haskins, co primate Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really up to you guys. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. <laughs>